So my question is about the experience of sensation in meditation. So in meditation, I have the more bodily experience that everything is softening. There's there's a deep rest taking place in the body. But at some point, it feels like there's there's a fear of the sort of sensational field completely dissolving yes and i guess prior to that there is this quality of uh the body being feeling very transparent and the borders of the body feeling less um substantial and uh often there's this this huge jolt of sort of a pang of fear yes. sort of pulling me back as yes. a contraction yes and I have had experiences where that's, if you like, have allowed or whatever it is to go through that apparent boundary. And it's often led to very intense sensational experiences. And even I don't know how to describe these experiences, really. But they those experiences will always end with some kind of pulling back. Um, yes. And and then sort of confusion and concern about what I just experienced, and and then a lot of questions around the nature of that experience, and yeah, it's sort of like why why am I scared of that, okay. or what is is it a real okay. fear? Yeah, I might be upset enough. Mm-hmm. Okay, let, let me let me comment, um, Anthony, on your on your experience. So first of all, the the feeling of the body um, at first softening and then beginning to dissolve so normally we we experience the body in a way that correlates with our belief we sorry we feel the body in a way that correlates with our belief about the body what do we believe about the body that the body is solid dense clearly delineated made out of stuff called matter that's our belief about the body and our feelings about the body correlate with that belief now when you're meditating you're you you're you're, you've long since left your beliefs behind beliefs are not present so now you begin to experience the body not filtered through your old belief systems but just the raw experience of the body as it is in the moment, as, as, as if this were the very first time you had experienced the body. And what is the experience of the body when not filtered through beliefs? Just raw sensation. And sensation, if we stick clearly with the, ex- the experience of sensation itself, a sensation is 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 like a... An, an amorphous, tingling, vibrating mass appearing in the space of awareness. It doesn't have a clearly defined shape. It doesn't have an age. It doesn't have a nationality. It doesn't have a gender. It doesn't have a size. It doesn't have an age. You're experiencing the body as it is. And so the, 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 the density... Uh, the, the clearly defined border, uh, all, all these are beginning to soften and dissolve. You're, because, because the b- belief in the body as a clearly defined, fixed, solid, dense entity has disappeared. This paves the way for you to feel the body as it actually is, just an amorphous, borderless, formless, transparent sensation. So the body begins to soften, and then you went on to say that it, it begins to become transparent. Because if you if you touch the stuff that is the experience of sensation, all there is to a sensation is the experience of sensing or feeling. And if you touch the stuff that feeling is made of, All you find is knowing or consciousness. So if you experience the body 
just the raw experience of the body. It's a vibration of consciousness in consciousness. So your sense of having a solid, dense, fixed body is vanishing. Now, for the entity, for the ego that derives its sense of itself from its association with the body, this dissolution of the body is tantamount to its death. Because the thing that it invested its identity in is vanishing. So the ego experiences this dissolution of the density and solidity of the body as its own demise. And as a result of that, you, you spring back. The ego is saying, I don't want to die. And that's why you get jolted back. You go to the brink of dissolution and then fear kicks in. That fear is the, the existential fear of the ego. I don't want to die. I don't want to disappear. So I guess there's, there's, no, there's no further question about it in the sense that is it a case of sort of readiness to some degree that, that there will no longer be any concern about it, whether it, there's... Exactly. What's important to know, Anthony, is that when the ego, which is just not an entity, it is the sense of separation, when that disappears, you are not going to disappear or die. And it's that understanding that will enable you to go through this experience of the dissolving body without contracting back at the last minute, because you know, I'm not going to die. That the ego, which derives its identity from the, its association with the body, that is going to disappear, but I'm not going to disappear. I'm not going to die. And that will give you the courage to, to face this experience and, and, and go and uh, let it take place without fearing that you are going to dis die or disappear. Be the space, be the ever present space in which this dissolving sensation, into which this bodily sensation is gradually dissolving. Just be that space, let the sensation go. The space is not going to go within. Just stand as that, be that space. Let the sensation do It's like the cloud evaporating into the sky. The sky doesn't think, oh my God, I'm going to die mm -hmm. when the cloud disappears. No, it just lets the cloud evaporate and dissolve into it. The sky remains. You are the sky of awareness into which this sensation is dissolving. You are not going to dissolve.